Gaming has officially changed forever. Microsoft has just done the impossible and acquired Activision Blizzard. We didn't know if it was going to happen. There were ups and downs. It's been a roller coaster of emotions, a roller coaster of news. There's been some infighting, some opposition to it, but it's official. Friday, October 13th, a day that will live in Xbox infamy. In all reality, I think it's one of the days in Xbox history, the biggest days, sorry, in Xbox history. Uh, Friday, October 13th. It's not a date that I would have picked to try to make this announcement. I would have waited till Monday or done it yesterday on the 12th, but Friday the 13th, I'm a little bit superstitious, but it's a huge day. It's a huge day. Uh, Phil Spencer has come out and made statements. Xbox has come out and made statements. Microsoft has come out and made statements. Let's take a look at the the trailer that they dropped and just bask in the beginning of the future of the xbox domination generation era it's here it's upon us everybody it's exciting if you're an xbox guy There's a bright golden haze on the oh, look at that dude look at that a bright golden haze on the chills i'm getting chills Forza, baby! The earth are like music. Tony Hawk! The breeze is so busy. Oh, Diablo. So, a lot of this is home now. Home. <laughs> Family. Well, that's cute. Oh, beautiful. We need an army. We can get us an army. It's about time. It's about time. We're a team. All of us. No one fights alone. I'll follow you from here on out. Spyro, yes! Oh, it is a good day to play Xbox, Activision, Blizzard, King, plus you. <laughs> what a day. It is a good day. Absolutely. So what does this mean for Xbox? It means everything. If the Xbox just became the Netflix of gaming, but even better in my mind. They have the top dogs in gaming. Imagine, I think I think we're going to see World of Warcraft on console. Imagine what that does for consoles. It's going to be absolutely huge. Oh, Sony, notice, Sony's notice is here. A bad day for Sony. Now, this acquisition was a $68.7 billion deal uh, with Microsoft. It's the biggest acquisition ever. The previous one was LinkedIn. This beat LinkedIn. Now, something to clarify here. This only makes Microsoft the third biggest, third biggest gaming company behind Sony. That's right, behind Sony. So it was kind of funny that that was one of the main points when Sony was opposing this acquisition that uh, a lot of people brought up, hey, this still wouldn't put Xbox ahead of Sony. So interesting that that's your argument. Argument. It is going to be interesting to see how Sony responds to this if they respond to it. Um, I think there's a reason they opposed it. Look how look how big. Look at what we're getting here. Let's actually put this on play and have it mute while we talk. You're getting titles like World of Warcraft. You're getting Starcraft. You're getting Call of Duty. You are getting Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, Tony Hawk. You're getting Sekiru. You're getting. And you've gotten already all of the Bethesda titles on top of this. You're getting future development. You're getting all of these things, all of these first party titles that now year after year will be wrapped into Game Pass. And that's the future. And it's it's huge. It's a big day. It's, uh, again, a, a day that will live in infamy. There's Diablo. I forgot about Diablo. Fallout series, Starfield that they're showing off right here. It's a day that will live in infamy for ever for xbox i think for gaming gaming just changed for forever that's it next xbox gets to wear these like badges of honor these are xbox titles now now there were some regulatory hurdles just as a recap here of everything 
the FTC opposed it here in the U.S. Suck at FTC. The CMA opposed it in the U.K. Uh, everywhere else pretty much approved it for the most part. There were, those were really the two main hurdles. They tried to stop them. Sony tried to oppose them and failed. Microsoft really is on a roll. You put this into perspective of just this year as it seems like Microsoft and Xbox is getting more and more momentum here. This is kind of the capstone to that. Where does it go from here? I think over the coming weeks, we're going to see old titles. I think we're going to see that right there. Spyro the Dragon coming into Game Pass. I think we're going to see old Call of Duties on Game Pass. I think we're going to see old Activision Blizzard games on Game Pass. It's going to be it's going to be huge. Conclusion, the gaming landscape just shifted in a seismic way. It has shifted for forever. Xbox is here. Xbox is serious about gaming. Gaming is the future of entertainment. Uh, whoops, my bad. I didn't mean to click that, but let's restart this. Gaming is the future of of entertainment. It's bigger than music. It's bigger than movies. Microsoft recognizes that, I think, and just went in. Indeed, they're not the only ones that recognize it. Amazon has recognized that. Google has recognized that. Apple is recognizing that. Everybody's jumping into the gaming space because of what it is for entertainment, what it is. Um, they see it as an investment in all reality, and they're not wrong. Gaming is mainstream here. Let's take a look at a quote. This is an article over at purexbox.com. Let's take a look at what Phil Spencer had to say about this. Phil Spencer says, I have long admired the work of Activision Blizzard and King and the impact they've had on gaming, entertainment, and pop culture. Whether it was late nights spent playing the Diablo 4 campaign with friends from start to finish, gathering the entire family in the rec room for our weekly Guitar Hero night, or going on an epic streak in Candy Crush, some of my most memorable gaming moments came from experiences... Uh, their studios have created. It's incredible to welcome such legendary teams to Xbox. Oh, I just got, I just got goosebumps from that. That's one thing that we forget too. Candy Crush is included with this. King Mobile. That that thing is huge. That makes so much money for them. Um, very, very exciting. It's just an exciting day if you're an Xbox fan. Let's take a look at the Verge article here by uh, Tom Warren. He has some quotes that I'd like to go over with uh, from Xbox here. Uh, right here from Phil Spencer. He said, today we start the work to bring beloved Activision Blizzard and King franchises to Game Pass and other platforms. We'll show more about when you can expect to play in the coming months. We know you're excited and we are too. In the coming months, we are going to see some big boy announcements coming, some big boy titles coming to Game Pass this holiday season. I think they're going to have this in time for the holiday season. It's only October. So I think they're going to try to ramp it up, ramp up advertising. I mean, look at that. Look at that YouTube video that we just watched celebrating the fact that this deal just went through. Huge. Absolutely huge. I would love to know what you guys think. Is this am I am I overselling it? Is it maybe not as big of a deal that I'm making? Or is it shifting gaming forever? Is the gaming landscape shifted? I think it's shifted. I think it's shifted forever. I think Xbox is innovating. I think that they're taking the lead. They just became the third largest gaming company on the planet behind Tencent and Sony. And I think it's the beginning, once again, of the Xbox domination generation. Would love to know what you think. Would love to know what you hear. Do you think Sony makes any moves here? What is their next move if you're Sony? What would you do if you were Sony? Or do you think the writing's on the wall and, and Xbox is just going to continue to dominate and make gains here in this space with this game subscription model. Would love to know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. It's a big day. Happy Friday, October 13th. Activision, Blizzard, Xbox, Bethesda, everything. It's all part of the Xbox family. Here's the future. Here's the future of Xbox. Hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel. My name is X1 The Gamer. We cover all Xbox videos all the time right here on this channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.